There are tons of different specialized preferences that you can use specific to the Perfect Photo Suite 8. To access those, go up to the Perfect Photo Suite 8 menu at the top left-hand corner of your screen, scroll down, and choose Preferences. Here, there are three different tabs inside the dialog that you have access to. The first are General Settings. At the top is your working color space. When you're creating a brand new file, this is a way for you to attach a specialized color space to your images when there is none defined. If you have an image that you're opening in the sweep that already has a color space attached to it, it will leave that space completely alone. Inside this drop down menu, you'll see you have tons of different options specific to your workflow. Below, you have the ability to adjust your scrolling options, including preview zoom preview pan, and brush size. This will be specific to the type of computer you're using, as well as the mouse you're using. You can change the preview background color. Right now I have it set to dark gray. You have black, white, light gray, as well as the ability to select a custom color. Next, you can choose which program you'd like to start in when you open the application as a standalone. I like to start in Browse so I can find my images quickly inside the Browse module, but you can also have it automatically open up inside Layers. And then last, you have a few different checkboxes, including the ability to remember the last browsed folder that you viewed inside Perfect Browse, the ability to check for updates the second you launch the program, and to warn you whenever you're leaving files inside Perfect Layers. I like to make sure that I leave all of these options on, but again, it's completely up to you. The next tab is the Lightroom Plugins tab. This will be specific to Lightroom users, when they take an image through the file menu down to plugin extras. When you're working from Lightroom with specific file types, it will automatically create a copy when you go through that plugin extras menu. This is a way for you to select the file type, color space, bit depth, and resolution when you create those copies. You also have the ability to select whether you'd like to stack this new image with your original and use the original for single PSDs. The last tab will be your performance tab. These sliders allow you to increase the performance of the photo suite on your computer. Every machine will have different hardware, graphic cards, and RAM. So these will be very specific to the type of computer that you're going to be using. The memory usage slider directly correlates to how much RAM is on your computer. If you barely meet the minimum requirements, you'll want to drop the memory usage slider down to 50%. If you have a higher amount of RAM, like 8 gigabytes or more, you can push this slider all the way up to 80%. This will help the program run faster because you'll be allocating more memory for the program to use when it's open. The VRAM usage is the amount of RAM that's on your video card. If you have an extremely powerful video card that has one gigabytes or more, you can push this slider up to 80%. With a video card that's much smaller, for instance, less than 500 megabytes, you'll want to consider keeping the slider closer to 50%. The more VRAM you can route to the perfect photo suite, the faster it's going to work. Once you're done inside these preferences, all you need to do is click OK and it will save your changes.